Hey everybody, it's Rachel. Um, so I guess you guys probably saw my post op video. I put it up today, but um, this is I guess today. I, I don't really know how you count that. Some people counted the day they got surgery as post op day one, but I just call it post op day. So today is officially post op day one. And, yeah, I got the freaky light thing going on. I thought if I put my, um, my, um, iPad up here that it would make the light better. But it just makes me blue instead of orange. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I've not had any more fevers or anything. But this gas, man, I'm telling you, I have had 18 surgeries in my lifetime and several of them were laparoscopic I've never had one that hurt this bad with the gas um, it just blows my mind you know and so I'm eating gas X trips um, I'm trying to space them out because you're only supposed to do like eight in a 24 hour period but I think if I only did the eight, I probably would not be able to even set up a talk. Now, it has got some better, but God, I hope tomorrow is even more better. Um, but my incisions don't hurt. I do have a lot of pain right here. And that's, if I can show you without showing my booby, I don't know. There's an incision right there. I think that's where they did my... Um, hernia repair um, and I've noticed a lot of people there um, sorry I'm getting a text um, but it seems like other people's um, what do you call them scars or whatever were lower down than mine and I don't know if it's I don't really know but um, it's they're awful high I mean, they're, none of them are below my belly button. They're all above my belly button. And I got this little thing going on. I wanted to show y'all. If it'll show up on camera, I'm not really sure. And I've got to do this without showing my Christmas to everybody. But right here. Um, this is where my port's at. And I really don't know. I'm going to push it down here. Can you see that? How it's like puffed up? And it's probably from there to there and it it's sticking out way more than my stomach see there you go you can see it there and I just I know there's probably swelling in there but I wondered if you guys experienced that because I really didn't think the rest of them are not swollen they just itch but um, I got one there and this is the one I think was probably, sorry guys, from my hernia, I'm assuming, but it's right against my breastbone. And then these two. I'm starting to bruise. I got the weirdest, most random bruises. Like it's so far away. And then there's one over here. See, and it's it is a little tiny thing. It's It's so odd to me. I've never seen any do that. But anyway, so that's, but this port, this port is worrying me. Like I said, it's just so random. It's puffed up, I look, and I look pregnant when I stand up, which is just crazy. But anyways, I'm assuming that's all from swelling and everything, so. But I've, the, the bright side is, is that I'm not having any issues swallowing. I'm not having issues with stuff going down. When I breathe, it hurts. And so I know that's the gas and probably the um, hernia repair. But um, I did, I think, four ounces. Let's see if I could raise up. Oh my God, you guys. It hurts so bad. Um, I've had 
two of these, which you see I didn't really eat it all, but two of these um, things of chicken broth. And then I did manage to get that much jello down. Uh, you can tell. But the jello kind of made me, kind of made my stomach hurt. So, and then I've ate two popsicles and like the girl like you girls are telling me i'm sipping 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 but i'm not having i'm not taking big gulps but i'm not really having problems like swallowing you know i'm taking like an average size drink and i think i've drunk this right here because my caseworker from the hospital called today and i was like can i have something besides flavored water so i got the ocean spray diet cranberry juice and it went down fine I didn't have no heartburn or anything and then I've drunk that much water which I drank my son brought me a glass of water too and I have to tell you guys this story before this video gets too long to tell you most of you know my son had his appendix taken out a couple weeks ago and yeah I got the ghetto hair going on um, but, um, so, and, you know, I took care of him. I'm his mama. That's what I do. And I'm trying to get that shadow off. There I am. So, um, I took care of him, and he told me, Mama, I'm going to help you after your surgery. Well, I never thought nothing about it, you know. He's a boy. He gets busy playing games. But I was laying here today asleep, and I felt this little tap on my leg. And he said, Mama, Mama, are you awake? And I opened my eyes and looked at him and I said, yeah, baby, mommy's awake. And he said, I got something for you. And bless his little heart, he had made me a sandwich and cut it in fours. Um, I really don't know how he cut it because we keep the knives up where he can't reach it. But maybe he used like a butter knife. I don't know. But he had made me a sandwich and cut it up and put it on a little plate and he brought me um, a little cup of pudding and I felt awful you guys because I had to tell him that I couldn't eat it and I felt so guilty because he you know he did that on his own I never didn't say I was hungry there wasn't anybody else here but me and him and that was the sweetest thing I, I just it made me cry I was just like wow my kid He's such a good kid. <laughs> but I guess um, that's going to be it for this update because I can't sit still much longer. I'm going to have to change positions. That gas is rolling up. It's rolling all across here and wrapping around my back. So my husband's going to help me get a shower here in a little bit because I look horrible. <laughs> but... Um, so, I, oh, I didn't even do my, my weight. Um, I went to see the surgeon Tuesday, and they weighed me. And between Tuesday and today, I've lost five more pounds. So, I'll get all my official numbers up, hopefully on my next video. But if not, I'll get it very soon. But we're rolling on nine minutes here, so I'm going to get off here. Again, thanks to everybody for all your support and your love and your prayers. And keep praying for me because I can't burp and so everything's just sitting here I need this gas to go away I feel like I'm having a heart attack but for now thanks guys good night and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow